a good sleep. It seems like forever since I've had a good sleep. And it looks like it's good weather today, too. That's right! We destroyed Naraku! Hey, where is everybody? That's right! Where's Utsugi? We have to find Utsugi. Utsugi probably knows how I can get back to my time. Um, Kagome? Look, look! Oh, is that a kimono? It's beautiful. Isn't it? It was Kaede's when she was young. She let me borrow it. Wow, she has such a beautiful kimono. I didn't expect this. That's so cool. Kagome looks so happy. Kagome has been traveling in this world even longer than I have. She must be looking forward to going back to her time. Hey, throw me that piece of wood. What are you doing? Can't you see? I'm chopping wood. Wow, I'm surprised to see you doing that. Kaede said I have to chop all the wood by the time she gets home. Kaede sure got guts to ask you to do that. Kaede said something like, if everyone works together, then there will be more time to play. Or something stupid like that. I don't really have time for this. I'll do that big fat one now. Here I go. No matter what he says, he looks like he's having fun. Inuyasha finally found a place to call home. I'm glad for him. How to spin it, too? Shippo looks like he's having fun. Come to think of it, Shippo is still just a kid. What? What about the shard from the Shikon Jewel? Someone took the shard that Naraku had. Do you know who that was, Kikyo? The name's Utsugi, a Shikigami master. Huh? Utsugi? Oh, you're here. Kikyo, is it true that Utsugi took the shard of the Shikon Jewel? Why did she do that? I don't know why, but I think it has something to do with you. With me? How could that be? Is that what you came to tell us? Is that why, Kikyo? You're not half bad. Thank you, Kikyo. Sugi took the shard of the Shikon Jewel.
Yugi took the shard of the Shikone jewel. Kikyo said it has something to do with me. I can't depend on them anymore. I have to do this on my own. Miroku! Good morning. What are you doing? I'm organizing my stuff. I didn't have time to take care of my stuff while we were traveling. I don't want to rush just before I go back to the temple. The temple? Since we have destroyed Naraku, I must now return to the temple and thank my ancestors. I see. Did you need something? Oh, no, it's nothing. That's right. He is a monk. He has to go back to the temple, now that Naraku has been destroyed. Good morning. Good morning, Sango. How is Kohaku doing? He's still regaining his strength. But according to what Kaede said, Naraku's spell has been completely dispelled. Now we just have to wait for his full recovery. That's good. Thank you. At least we were able to get rid of Naraku's spell. Now it's important for us to take it easy and recover our strength. If you take it easy, I'm sure Kohaku will get better again. Did you need something? Oh, it's nothing. I'm so glad Kohaku is getting better. So, Songo's wish has finally come true. Now her and Kohaku can live together again. So, you're going alone? Yes. Now that Naraku is destroyed, everybody can finally do what they want to do. Besides, Utsugi is my problem. Hmm. Don't worry. I'm much stronger now. I won't let Utsugi get me. I need to ask you a favor. What is it? What can I do for you? Please, don't tell Inuyash and the others that I've left to search for Utsugi. They'll probably try to follow me. So please don't tell them. Okay. It doesn't look like I can stop you. Safe journey. Thank you, Kaede. Please be sure to return to us unharmed. I will. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for everything. Soggy Town. Maybe someone there will know. Oh, it's you. I was looking for you. Headman, you got back safely. Yes, I'm sorry for what happened at the castle. I'm glad you're safe. So, why were you looking for me? Oh, yes. I was wondering if you could kill some demons for me. Demons? What is this about? Well, there's a very fearsome demon in the mountains. Until recently, it's been peaceful around here, and there haven't been any demons for some time. Really? So he's not talking about Itsugi. It would have been too much to hope for. But the headman seems really concerned. I guess I can lend him a hand. It'll be a test to see how much I can do on my own. Okay, I'll help you. Huh? You do it? I already feel better knowing you're going to go after that demon. Good. Good. Once I've destroyed the demon, I'll return to your house.
I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Something tasty is coming this way. So, you're the demon that the headman is worried about. Well, I'm not on the menu. Are you ready to die? <laughs> I want your blood. Give me your blood. What? Did it transform? It's been a while since I've had something to eat. Die! It was just a little demon, but it was surprisingly strong. What, what was that? <laughs> blood. It's been a while since I've drank blood. I thought I'd killed you. Blood. I will drink your blood. Good. I can't do this on my own. <laughs> Blood. Blood. I don't want to die here. How could you let such a pathetic demon beat you? You silly thing. Huh? Inuyasha? Why didn't you tell us? You just left without telling us where you were going. Really? You should have told us that you were going to go looking for Utsugi. Kagome! She won't too! Yes, it's too dangerous for a girl to go out on her own. Do you want to hire a good demon slayer? I'll help you for free. Moroku! Songo! Everyone! We came as soon as we heard from Kaede. Stop jabbering. We'll talk after we take care of this. Okay. 
Did it work? chance of beating me. Everyone, thank you. Come on, you don't have to thank us. We're a team. But since we destroyed Naraku, you're finally free to do what you want. So, why... Does there have to be a reason? Right. We're helping you because we want to. That's what it means to be free. Everyone, thank you. Anyway, these demons are stronger than they look. 
and its scent is familiar. It's Naraku. Only very faintly, but this demon smells like Naraku. was a part of Naraku's body? Yes, definitely. But we destroyed Naraku! If a part of Naraku is still alive, that must mean... I have a bad feeling about this. Kikyo said that Utsugi had taken Naraku's shard of the Shikon Jewel. I think it was part of Naraku's plan. Oh, what a pain in the butt. It looks like this isn't just your problem anymore. Yes. If the shard of the Shikon Jewel is part of this, then it's our problem, too. If Naraku's up to something, then we have to find out what he's up to. Thank you, everyone. Be honest with us next time. So, what are we gonna do now? First, we should go back to Kasasagi Town and tell the headman that we've destroyed the demon. relief. I knew you could do it. This is to show my thanks. Thank you, Headman. But it makes me feel weird being thanked so much. Whatever. It's not a bad thing to be appreciated. Inuyasha, you'll get used to it. As you do more good, the more you're thanked. Oh, shut up. Anyway, let's go find Utsugi. Yes. But we have no idea where to look for Utsugi. I don't think we'll be able to find Utsugi very easily. From what Kaede was saying, I don't think even Kikyo knows where Utsugi is. But we must find out quickly what Utsugi is planning. Yes, you're right. Anyway, we can talk to all the people who have had something to do with Utsugi. That's all I can think of for now. Look what I found! This is the Wolf Demon's Forest. Yes, and? I don't think we really want to go near that scrawny wolf territory. Of course we do. This isn't a joke. Why do we have to depend on him? Because... Koga is one person who is mixed up with Utsugi. Yes, that's right. Do we have to? Hey, 
Kagome. How are you? Huh? Oh, fine. Why is he flirting with her? Huh? Oh, little mutt. You're here too. You scrawny wolf. Stop snubbing me. Whatever, mutt. Those two really don't like each other, do they? I wonder. Whatever the case, it's always like this. So, Kagome, did you come to see me? Uh, well... Stop flirting with her! Shut up, mutt! Lie down! What? You wanna fight me, you scrawny wolf? And now they're gonna fight. It's always the same. Oh, Inuyasha, stop it already! Um, Koga, we need you to tell us something. What is it, Kagome? As long as it's you, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Oh, shut up. Inuyasha, listen to me! Uh, what is it? Just be quiet for a little while. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> so, what did you want to know? Do you know where Utsugi is? Utsugi? Oh, the one that was pretending to be that girl. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but you should go to Mount Ho-Oh. A vendor I caught the other day said he saw demons while on his way down Mount Ho-Oh. There's been fewer demons around here these days, so something must be going on over there. What does that have to do with Utsugi? And there's no way down Mount Ho-Oh. Don't lie. You don't have to believe me. But something is happening on Mount Ho-Oh. He's just trying to impress Kagome. Yes. That is strange that there's still demons there. I don't know if it has anything to do with Utsugi, but we should definitely check it out. Thank you, Koga. Nothing to it. Hey, Mutt, make sure Kagome doesn't get into danger. I know I can't rely on you. What are you saying? Do you want to fight? Bye, Kagome. <sighs> this is getting so tiring. No kidding. Well, let's change the mood and start heading to Mount ho -Oh. It's you. It's been a while. Kakaju, is it true that you used to be the Kururugi Shrine's former priest? What? The Kururugi Shrine? Where did you hear that? I heard it at the shrine. At the Kururugi Shrine. You went to the Kururugi Village? But there's supposed to be a seal that stops people from traveling into the valley. It can't be. Was the seal broken? So you know about it. 
you know about the valley, too. Please, tell me about the valley and the Hidogara. I don't know why you would want to know about that. But there's nothing to tell. You better be on your way. What's wrong, Kakuju? Until now, you've told me so many things. Like how to use Shikigami. So, why is it so different all of a sudden? It seems there's a reason Kakuji doesn't want to talk about it. But, if you can tell me just a little bit, maybe I'll be able to understand everything about Kururugi Village. And about Utsugi. What? Ooh. Utsugi? Did you just say Utsugi? Yes. It seems Utsugi is in Kururugi too. I see. That must be why the seal is broken. I'm sorry, but could you please take me to Kururugi Village? I would like to go on my own, but I can't see, so I can't travel there by myself. Hey, Gramps, didn't you hear what we asked? I'll explain it when we get to the village. Quickly, take me to Kururugi Village. It seems like something really important just happened. Yes, I agree. Let's go. What are you slowing down for? We're almost there. Hurry up. Wait a minute, Inuyasha. Kakuju is with us, so we can't travel as quickly. But if we don't hurry, Utsugi might get away. I'm sorry. But why are you so desperate to go after Utsugi? Well... Remember I told you that I came from a different world? Yes, I remember. It seemed that Utsugi was the one that summoned me here. Utsugi? But why? I don't know the details. But the connection seems to be that I'm Utsugi's descendant. What? You're Utsugi's descendant? That's... What's wrong, Grandpa Kakuju? Your face is completely white. You aren't Utsugi's descendant. But Naraku told me... Uh, what's this all about? It's... Oh! energy, huh? Let's do it, Moroku! Right behind you! You're going down! You're mine! Impressive, Inuyasha! Here goes, Kagome! Uh-huh! Well done. 
Good, Shippo. Come. Move it. Aye. How do you like that? Okay. Shikigami attack! How was that? Right. Well done, Songo. You too, Moroku. Are you all right, Kakuju? Oh. It's bad. This wound. Hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Don't talk right now, Kakuju. We're gonna take care of you. It's okay. Just listen. Like you were saying, I was the priest of the Kururugi Shrine. I was living there, happily, with my wife. But when our son was born, and my wife died, I was so sad. I went to the valley and made a Hitogata that looked like my wife. Using a secret art that came from the Kururugi Shrine, I breathed life into it. That can't be! Yes, that is Utsugi. So, are all the Hitogata that we saw in the valley your failures? Exactly. How could you be happy with an imitation? Of course I was happy. My beloved wife had come back. Even though Utsugi was only a Hitogata, she loved me. I began to despise the Utsugi that didn't age. I continued to get older, but she stayed the same. How could you be so selfish? Yes, it was selfish. But I didn't think that at the time. As I got older, it became very difficult for Utsugi in time. The villagers became increasingly suspicious of the ageless Utsugi. They said she was a demon because she never aged, and they chased her out of the village. Kakuju, that's terrible. Yes, it was. After a few years, I realized how selfish I had been. So... That's why you went traveling. Yes. I went looking for her to say I was sorry, and to try to start over. But I had left Utsugi alone for too long. The reason Utsugi called you was because she thinks she can use the magic of soul infusion. With magic and a relative spirit, you can become a real person. That is a secret art passed on from the Kururugi Shrine. If she has you, her descendant, and she gets your soul, and a shard of the Shikong Jewel. If she has all that, she can become human. 
I'm sure that is what Mutsugi is up to. Kakadu! Kakadu, please hold on! Don't talk anymore! I need you to do something for me. Please give this amulet to Utsugi. I think you have what it takes to help her see the wrongness of her ways. Kakadu! Don't die! You can't! Let me touch your face. Kakadu! Yes. You look exactly like my wife that passed away. You have Utsugi's face. Oh. No, Kakuju! You have to give the amulet to Utsugi! You have to do it yourself! Kakuju, I don't want you to die! <laughs> Kakuju! I know it's difficult, but you have to keep going! You're the only one that can fulfill Kakuju's wish! I know. I... I... Kakuju, I promise I will give this amulet to Utsugi. And I will help her. You finally came. I've been waiting. Huh? Utsugi? Utsugi, listen! As long as I have your soul, I can become human. So give me your soul. seems your soul wasn't taken. But why am I okay? I thought it was all over. That's right. When I lost consciousness, the amulet... Kakuju's amulet? Yes. It got warm, and then... The amulet protected you! Oh, why? Why can't I become human? Oh! oh no! Utsugi! Look! It's a shard of the Shikon Jewel around Utsugi's neck! What? That's not good. The shard of the Shikon Jewel that Utsugi has has been tampered with by Naraku. What? My chest! The shard of the Shikon Jewel is glowing black, and it's starting to merge into Utsugi's body! It can't... What's happening? My body!
Baku. Now, Utsuki's power will be mine. So, when we defeated you on the Asagiri Island... <laughs> it was all so that I could get Utsuki's power. You won't get away with it! Yuraku, I will destroy you again! Everyone, let's do it! What is this? The crystallized rock is... Utsugi. I won't let you abuse my power in whatever way you please. I will forsake my soul before I would ever allow that. I didn't realize you still had power left. The crystallized rock is broken! The barrier has disappeared, and so has any sign of Utsugi. We can attack him now! Prepare yourself, Naraku! You're going down!
my words. These fools are defying me, usher in their own death. If you take any pity on their cries, you'll have to grant their prayers quickly.
to grant their prayers quickly.
defying me, usher in their own death. If you take any pity on their cries, you'll have to grant their prayers quickly. Come. 
usher in their own death. Take any pity on their cries. You'll have to grant their prayers quickly. Finally over. Kohaku will be fine now. You can pay for your sins in hell, Noraku. It took us a long time to finally get here. A long time. Utsugi! Utsugi? Hang on, Utsugi! Red blood? You've become human? What? It is the art of soul infusion. Did Kakuju say anything about that? Yes. Using a secret power, he must have put a soul into the amulet. So he... Kakuju? I understand. Instead of taking your spirit, I took his soul that was inside the amulet. Hang in there, Utsugi! I can die as a human now, with the soul of the man I love. I'm happy now. Thank you. Utsugi, don't go! I finally realized I can understand you! They say it is a blessed thing to have your grandchild next to you when you die. But to have your great-great-grandchild is also a great blessing. Don't talk anymore, Utsugi. I have one last request. Please bury me in the Kururugi Cemetery. Utsugi, are you planning on taking the Shard of the Sacred Jewel? You can't! If that disappears... It's too late. If I'm going to die, I want to die as a human. You're going to live as a human being. It's no good. I can't live like this again. Under Naraku's control. But... 
it? Kagome. You should understand. Thank you. The Kururugi Cemetery, right? Please. Itsugi. It's my last request to you. Kakuju, I love you. Utsugi. She looks peaceful. Yes. Kakuju, be happy with Utsugi. Hey. What is this? Yutsugi's magic has disappeared? Then you're going back to your time? Everyone! No, I don't want you to go. Shippo, this is goodbye. You're here and gone in a moment's notice. I hope you're happy, even in the present. I'm really glad I met you. I won't forget you. You'll come back again, won't you? Everyone. You weren't so bad. Thank you, everyone. I'm so happy I met all of you. Remember? So this festival was based on Utsugi and the others. I'm happy for you, Utsugi. You've been laid to rest at the Kururugi Shrine. Oh! Oops! Sorry! Huh? <gasps> Shippo! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, as if. <laughs> Wonder how you're doing. <laughs> 